Es sind die Stimmen und die Berichte der Überlebenden, die es uns allen und gerade auch der jungen Generation ermöglichen, Antworten auf die Frage zu finden, warum die Erinnerung an die Schrecken des Nationalsozialismus für uns heute und für die Zukunft so wichtig, so unverzichtbar ist. Germany has atoned for its wartime offenses with its consistent declarations of contrition, not only apologizing to its victims throughout history, but also paying a great deal in compensation. By 1998, Germany had paid 100 billion marks, the equivalent of around 60 billion US dollars at the time in compensation, with that number rising to around 64 billion euros, or 90 billion US dollars in 2007. More importantly, Germany has reflected on its role in World War II with the greatest contrition, at the same time demonstrating a willingness to admit responsibility for its past actions. German history textbooks teach of Nazi wartime evils, and the country gave up territory east of the oder neisse line after the war, despite historic claims on the region. Has Japan, another of the Axis powers, yet fulfilled its promises? In the Cairo Declaration of 1943 and the Potsdam Declaration of 1945, Japan pledged to return all annexed territories, at the same time renouncing forever war as a sovereign right of the nation and a threat or use of force as a means of settling international disputes under Article 9 of the Japanese Constitution. It was because of these concessions that Japan was accepted as a member of the international community. Recent moves, however, by Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe have been made in attempts to amend the country's constitution so as to allow for military expansion. Japan has also found itself embroiled in a number of territorial disputes in recent years with many of its East Asian neighbors. Promises made in the post-war world were not restricted to the Axis powers, with the Allies also making assurances. From 1945 to 1952, Allied forces led by U.S. and General Douglas MacArthur oversaw the affairs of post-war Japan, and under the Potsdam Declaration, stern justice was promised for Japan's war criminals. As such, General MacArthur's decision to grant immunity to 19 Class A Japanese war criminals, including Prime Minister Abe's grandfather, Nobusuke Kishi, upset a lot of people. Many of these suspected war criminals went on to play significant roles in Japanese politics in the years to come. The promises made after World War II should not be used as designations of who won or lost, instead kept and used to prevent future wars.